Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, today I want to talk about the expression catching the milk train. Up until the 1980s and in some areas a little bit later, we had milk trains. Now, this was a passenger service. It was like a normal train, but at the very back, or sometimes at the front, there were also a couple of tanks of milk being pulled along the railway. As you can imagine, London is such a big city, there had to be a way to get milk into central London very early. It wasn't quite so bad around the north of the UK because there were plenty of farms up there. So we had milk trains which moved milk all across the country, especially from the south of England and the west of England all the way into London. I remember milk trains, they were still running in the 1980s, even though most of them had stopped in the early 70s. This is why we have the expression, catching the milk train. I'm going to get up early tomorrow, I'm going to catch the milk train, because usually the milk train was one of the first services, so it was a way of telling people you were going to leave for work early in the morning. Tomorrow I'll catch the milk train. And now we still use this expression even though there are no milk trains. Now it's quite common to say, oh, tomorrow I'm going to catch the milk train to get to work. Now there are no milk trains to catch, but it just means to get an early service. If you look around the train museums, I'm sure you'll still find the milk tanks there. They used to be very brightly colored, usually with an advert on the side, which would say something like, milk, make sure you have one glass a day. And I remember them for some reason being very, very blue in color. They were very, very interesting things purely because we don't have them anymore. And the average shipping distance for milk was around 250 miles, which I think is around 400 kilometers. Uh, It happened all over the country. And the longest surviving ones, I think, were those around London, because they, of course, really, really needed milk to get to that particular area. Of course, there were different kinds of dairies, some producing carnation milk, others producing other kinds of milk. So the phrase catching the milk train remains in use in English to describe catching a very early train, and it can also be used to describe rising very early in the morning. I know I still say that, oh, I'll have to catch the milk train tomorrow to do my podcasts. But I'm not even leaving the house to do these podcasts. So mm, it's a strange thing to say, but it still works in English. By the way, speaking of podcasts, I told you last time that I uh, I was celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Unfortunately, the weather was so bad that I couldn't get to any St. Patrick's Day celebrations. But I have noticed, though, that you can see the Dublin Parade from Ireland on YouTube. So have a look around and be entertained by that. On italki, If you're looking for English lessons, feel free to book a lesson with me. There's currently a two-week waiting time. However, I have to tell you that people are moving lessons all the time. And as they move lessons, that means that lessons are available at short notice. 
If you are an existing student with me, you will find ways where you can move your lesson time or you can find a lesson on my italki calendar. If you can't do that or you're having problems with that, please send me a message and I'll try to help. That's it from me right now. Talk to you all soon. Bye.